We hear a lot about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and how more women are making careers in what have typically been male-dominated fields. And with Saturday being International Women and Girls Day in Science, LAC Teens Evan Leak joins us now to show us how the gender gap is actually being closed here in Lexington. Yeah, Dia, Chris, the search for a cure for Alzheimer's is a never-ending job right now. And in Lexington, there's a lot of effort being put towards that fight for a cure, including from some very talented women. They actually let me inside their lab yesterday to show you the work being done and how proud they are to be women in science. Come on in. Uh, this is our cell culture room. A room Cassie Friday has gotten very comfortable in, working in Dr. Lance Johnson's lab. We study those cells by looking at things that they secrete um, into kind of the fluid that they live in. The culmination of a long journey for this newly adorned doctor, graduating from the University of Kentucky in December, jumping right into Alzheimer's research. I have a long family history of Alzheimer's disease. This has been a space that I've always been very interested in and the mentorship and support of this department really meant a lot to me and so that's why I chose to finish my degree here. She's working alongside talents like Leslie Golden. These are all the different cell types that we had in that sample. A graduate student at UK whose path toward lab work has been far from straightforward. So all through high school, I wanted to major in English. Started college as a wildlife biology major. The shoe just didn't fit. So that was when I found more of the molecular sciences. Leslie specifically works with mice, breaking down the molecular comparisons to human brain cells, analyzing genetic trends causing Alzheimer's. We can actually stain for different cell types. This right here is protein, which is the risk factor Cassie talked about, that apolipoprotein E which is the strongest genetic risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. These are sections of tissue from actual human brains that people have very generously donated. These women are a part of a tight-knit team working to understand a disease that for now has no cure. Both of them very proud to be female forces in what is still a male-dominated field. It's really awesome to be um, a woman in this space and it's it's really important to me as a mom. I have three kids. Luckily, we work for a department and a lab that is really understanding and really accommodating. I think that there is a lot of awareness being raised to the fact that we are underrepresented. Do we have a ways to go? Yeah, but we're closing that gap day by day. Working together to close the gender gap in STEM while hopefully getting closer to a cure for a devastating disease. In Lexington, Evan Leak, LEX 18 News. Based on their research, your genes actually make up 70 to 80 percent of the risk for Alzheimer's disease. It's not just an age related connection. Cassie and Leslie also looking closely at the specific genes that cause more risk or more protection against Alzheimer's. That's part of that protein that Leslie was talking about in that story. It, it was really cool to be able to actually go into the lab. I thought mm -hmm. that was the best way of being able to you know, really illustrate Quantify, what yeah. they're mm -hmm. doing and to see how passionate they are. And I thought it was just it was a cool way, I think, to lead into a day like tomorrow as we continue to see so many more women want to push toward careers like this. Yeah, and to see them actually in action. You know, when you can see yourself there, then you can realize it as a child. And, and then, so that's important. And then you can stumble into it. Leslie wanted to be an English teacher a yeah, couple of years saying, ago. Yeah. And then just, oh, okay. Zoology, Zoolo and then said. zoology. And now she's... One now, class. And now she's... Look, now she's that's looking at cells all that's day. That's usually so, what it takes. Yeah. It was history for me, and then I had a uh, psychology class, and the rest was history. You never know where life's going to take you, You never know. Yes, indeed. All right, Evan Leek, thanks so very much.